Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well today. So it's been over a week since I posted a video and uh, I have good reason why I've been very busy and I'll share what's going on at the end of the video. So um, I did go last week to an MRI and uh, my goodness, I was in the machine for 40 minutes. Good thing I closed my eyes and I probably slept for most of it. Uh, but anyway, so I had that done. This morning, I had to go into Winnipeg. I had another nerve conduction test done. So I got together with Kelly afterwards and we did some crafting. So we made some cards. I'll show you it right now before we get into the haul. So this is what we made. But when I was... Um, my my three cards didn't go the way I wanted them to, but that's okay. We'll We'll fix that. So... I kind of made a hello spring card and it's just blank. I have to finish it and I just put that on the back but this is how this card works so I put a little tab here of roses you pull the tab and it flips up and then it flips up again well the, I <laughs> I wanted that hello spring to be on the front but we, so it's three different sizes that you cut and we were thinking that this, uh, this little one, like it was reversed and the big one was on the back, but that's all right. I will fix her up pretty and then I will have a nice spring card. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So we made those this afternoon and, uh, I went to Dollar Tree. So I'll do my Dollar Tree haul. And then there was a store next door to Dollar Tree that I was curious about and I went in. So I'll share that store with his as well. So let's get right into this Dollar Tree haul. Um, oh, I also went to Shoppers Drug Mart. I had a package to mail. And as I was walking past the shampoo and that, um, I remembered that I needed some conditioner. Now this one I believe is new. I like to buy the L'Oreal. And uh, it says Hyaluron Plump. So 72 hour moisture hydration conditioner and it's hyaluronic acid. Uh, Replumps hair with long lasting hydration for dehydrated hair. I'd say my hair is dehydrated. So I picked up this and I'm gonna try that one. I do like L'Oreal. Uh, it was on sale for $7.99. This is one of the big ones. I just wanna smell it. Mmm, smells good. So I, I need a conditioner. All right, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. <clears throat> I grabbed the last two uh, dumpster bread, 100% whole wheat. So $1.50, you can't beat that. Everybody loves to go into Dollar Tree for their bread. And I grabbed myself uh, the Arizona iced tea with lemon flavor. Uh, I'm not sure how much the drinks were. They're probably still, um, okay, one was 680 mil. Okay, so this one was $1.50, and this one was 99 cents, the price that's right on it. So, size, you know, it's the same thing. This is $5.91 and $6.80. I would have been better to buy two of the bottles than the can, but... I'll know for next time. All right, my glasses keep falling down. They need adjusted. What else did we buy? So I bought some cards. Uh, I had to buy this one. I'm actually gonna frame it. I'm not giving it away to anyone. It's a um, St. Patrick's Day card. It says, may the road rise, rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And then inside it says, wishing you the sweetest of Irish blessings on St. Patrick's Day and always. But I just love that and I am going to frame that. And I'll probably leave it out year round in my cabinet with all my bleak uh, stuff. And then I got these, um, I just thought this one was really cute, the way it's cut out, with thoughts of you at Easter, and it's got the pansies and the little Easter eggs and the basket. Keeping in touch with special people, 
becomes even more important as the years go by. That's why you're thawed off warmly and wished an Easter filled with every happiness. So I love that card. I'm probably gift that one to someone, send it to someone. I got this one to craft with. It says happy Easter. It's got a little bit of glitter on the top there, but look at these, they're real bunnies. Thinking warm and fuzzy thoughts of you. So I'm gonna craft with that one. And I bought this just for, to craft with again. Look at how beautiful that is. And it's um got like a white bow and it, it was actually for a wedding, but it's blank inside. So, I mean, this can be for anything. These are Hallmark cards in the Dollar, Dollar Tree. So that one came with a purple. And I guess this lime green goes with my St. Patrick's Day one. I just love that. Definitely going to frame it. So I got those. And keeping on the Easter theme, I believe I already have one of these, but I bought another one because I can break this one apart and craft with it. It says Happy Easter with the bunny. So got that one for $1.50. I saw this one. This one's going to grow in my craft room. Bunny Trail Farms, open daily, 9 to 5, locally grown, farm fresh eggs and produce. Established in 1925. I like the black, or the black, sorry. <laughs> I like the uh, pink. So that's that one. I think I bought this one last year, but that's okay if I have a double. Uh, Cottontail Co. Easter Egg Farm, fill your basket, open daily. Aren't these just so cute? Little jute twine to hang them with. So the, the gold is glitter. So I picked up that one. I got another one. I love this pink egg. It says Easter blessings. So another pink one that I can put in my craft room. And, and the bunny there is like uh, metal. Really cute in the shape of an egg. This one I really love. Easter egg farms, a bunny treat sold here. Does that not look like farmhouse? Love it. Got that one. I don't have to display them all at once, right? You pick and choose each season, each year. This one says happy Easter cottontail farm fresh eggs. And I just love this one with the barn in the back there. Love it. So how many is that I bought? Oh, well, let's do the last one. Pretty sure I bought this one last year, but I didn't want to leave it behind just in case. Cottontail and Co. Egg Farm. Hippity hoppity lane, one mile ahead. Egg hunts daily. So that's a nice one to put in the kitchen. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, uh, five, six. So six big ones and then that one makes seven. And I got the last one of these. I absolutely love this. So it's wood bead jute garland, but look at the little uh, chick at the bottom. So I'll just throw this like in a uh, tear tray and they put a little ribbon and twine. Beautiful. Yeah. So that is it for dollar treat. I didn't buy too much in there, but I probably spent enough. Let let me see what my total was. $24.86. That's not bad for all those signs and the bread. Now, the the building beside, so I went to the, if you're familiar with Winnipeg, I went to the Dollar Tree on, um, oh my goodness, McPhillips. It's a huge store. It's my favorite one. So anytime I go to the hospital, I always like to go to that one. So I did a detour back from Kelly's house to go to it. And uh, next door to it, there was this huge big store that was empty for a couple of years while well, something moved into it. And there was quite a few people going into it. So I thought, hmm, let me put this bag in the truck and I'll walk over and see what's going on over there. So it is called Crazy Bins Liquidation. So K-R-A-Z-Y. B-I-N-Z for bins liquidation. So when I went in, um, it was all these wooden bins and rows. And uh, 
somebody got smart. I believe it was a East Indian uh, group of people that, because that's all that was working in it. So they have gone ahead and it looks like they are purchasing Amazon returns. Uh, you know, you can buy big boxes like that. And it looks like that's what they're buying. And they are um, putting the stuff out for sale. So each day is a different price. So I think Mondays, or, or is it Sundays? One of the days is $25. Tuesday, when I went today, was $5 day. So everything, anything was $5. Now, some of the stuff in the bins was not worth $5. Other items were well worth $5. And people were buying. There was, you know, people had a lot of stuff. You weren't allowed to open the boxes. So you kind of had to read, um, you know, if it was a, a box, uh, all brown box all closed up you had to read the label on it or you could take it up to the front and ask them to open it for you just so you could see what was inside so it was kind of fun to walk around there uh so the two things that i picked up because that to me there wasn't anything really worth five dollars but i uh picked up this runner for the table and i just love the color off it so it's a cream color and it's got like a jute, a jute twine uh, on both sides. And uh, each end has some frills. So sometimes I don't have a nice runner, you know, for the table. And this is quite long. So I thought, oh, that's a good one for in between. Oh, I guess it goes this way. Well, I didn't even know that. Look at that beautiful pattern on it. Yeah, I need one for in between holidays um, just to have on the table. And, uh, you know, I like the country look. So I was very happy with that for $5. And the other thing I seen was this um, unisex and it fits a waist side 28 to 39. It's as seen on TV and it's the new Copper Fit Back Pro. So I bought one of those. It's a back brace. Now, sometimes Sean complains of a bad back, and I figured he could use this when he is uh, needing something, you know, all these lifting heavy stuff or whatever. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Copper fit. He has one, and I think his has bones in it, but I think he's going to like this. Kind of smells, but, but anyway. <laughs> so I ended up getting that for $5 as well. Yep. So they had some, um, there was Christmas stuff, ornaments and uh, Christmas pillowcases and stuff. But I don't need to be buying Christmas this time of the year. And I have enough. So anyway, that is it for Dollar Tree and this new store. I will... Um, I'll sh I did a quick little walkthrough, so I'll add that on right now. And uh, that's funny. My receipt says, oh, believe it or not, I'm looking at it going, it was on McPhillips, right? This There's also one in Calgary, Alberta. So if you live in Calgary, it is at 3351 20 Avenue Northeast. One in Calgary and one in Winnipeg. Now, the it is all sales are final, no returns, no exchange, all items sold as is. So you really want to make sure it's something that you're going to use. Um, like I say, bring it up to the front. There was one item. I thought it was going to be a big flashlight kind of thing. It said auto light. And uh, I asked the guy to open it and it ended up being like a light for a vehicle. It was red and white, and I'm like, no, that's not what I thought it was. So you got to make sure you're buying what you think it is, right? So I found this place um, today, and it's a big warehouse. It looks like it's all um, returns from Amazon and wherever else. So I'll show you what it looks like outside. It's pretty crowded, so I don't want to take uh, too much video off it. But I will show you what I picked up when I'm out of here. So this store is called The Crazy Way to Shop. Saturdays at $25, Sunday 10, Monday 10, Tuesday 5, I'm here on Tuesday, Wednesdays 3, Thursday and Friday are $1. There's the address. 
1375 McPhillips. That's what it looks like. Oops, zoom out. There you have it, right beside my other favorite store. Dollar Tree. So anyway, the reason why I have been away all week is because Sean and I are moving again. Can you believe that? We are moving again. <laughs> We only moved into this house last uh, June, but Sean has transferred further uh, west. So he's about, oh, I'm going to say three, three and a half hours away now. And it's harder for him to come home in that. Uh, if you know anything about truck driving, we, uh, we have a set amount of hours during the day to drive. And when you run out of hours, you got to pull over and park. So there was a couple of times there where he ran out of hours. So excited. It's like a dream come true. So it is. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to show you what our sunroom looks like. Are you guys ready for this? Remember that lovely sunroom I had? Well, this is what she's looking like now. <laughs> there is boxes. My poor plants are squished here. There is boxes. Um, Onyx thinks that it's, uh, I don't know. What do you think this is? Hey, I had to put the chair there just so I could sit on it to put my shoes on when I'm going out. But yeah, this is what our sunroom is looking like. So one more week and uh, we'll be in our new home. And uh, stay tuned because we get the keys next Wednesday. Is next Wednesday the 15th? Yes, it is. <laughs> now, never did I think that we would be moving during uh, St. Patrick's Day and our wedding anniversary, but we're doing it. So it's going to be a lovely wedding anniversary for us. So um, I'm not going to say too much about the house. When we get there, uh, I will do a walkthrough and hopefully an empty walkthrough if I'm there before people start bringing stuff in. Uh, and I'll show you as our new home. Yes, we're, we're very excited about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want everyone to take care. Stay tuned. I am going to just sit and record a Dollarama haul right now. And I'll catch you all on my next video. Bye for now.